Okay, so here's my Flashforge Dreamer, which has a faulty Wi-Fi chip. So Flashforge, within uh, four minutes of getting my email, said they'll send another one. So here's my replacement. Uh, just turn it on. Alright, so it boots up. Alright, so we go Tools. Settings, Wi-Fi, not connected, so we go Wi-Fi on. Connecting, connection failed, and that's all you got. You hit Wi-Fi on and same thing happens. So it looks pretty straightforward. Uh, it's just got a single connector on the bottom, uh, like that. Hang on, I'll try and focus. Yeah, so it's just a 8 pin connector or 10 pin. Alright, so we'll go ahead and open up the machine. Okay, so here we are. I've uh, just flipped the Flashforge Dreamer upside down and there's four screws you need to remove. So one, two, three, four. So this is the last one. All right, just put them over there and just pull that up. There's nothing holding it. Pop it over there and this is the inside of the printer. So we've got the main power supply. There's your ARM microprocessor with the Wi-Fi module and that's the I.O. module. And over here you've got your stepper motor controllers with the cooling fan. That's the noisy fan you can hear. And there you've got your Z-axis motor. And down here, that's your 230, 110 voltage switch. Now, what we're interested in is this. This is our faulty Wi-Fi module. The Wi-Fi module is just held in with one screw, so let's go ahead and take that out. Okay, try and focus. All right, so it's just one screw. And this should just lift right out. Here we go. So it comes out. Now there's a nylon extender tube here. So I'll just put these down to one side. And we'll just uh, put the screw through there. And the nylon extender tube. So now, with the Wi-Fi antenna facing this way, just line up that screw and plug in the new Wi-Fi module and just do up the screw again make sure it's focused yeah okay and that's it so what we might do now we'll flip this back over and give it another test fingers crossed that works and see if it works so we get the same thing we'll go tools settings Wi-Fi, turn on. We... Ah, it works. Had me worried there for a bit. Okay. I can confirm we're connected because if we go to control panel, uh, for example, I'll change the LED color to red. All right, so when I hit OK, yes, the uh, LED color changes. So I'll put that back to white. White. And when I hit OK, OK, it changes. So we definitely have a uh, connection. And I can uh, move the bed. So definitely, definitely got connection. All right. So anyway, I want to print this. So I'm connected. To the Flashforge Dreamer, it says it's ready. All right, so we go print. And it says downloading file, and it just crashes. And then you get a pop up message something went wrong. You see, uh, it tries to upload at so many kilobytes a second there. But anyway, so you go, okay, something went wrong, okay, network error. And this is the problem. 
um, still have no problem and then the screen sort of gets all garbled up it doesn't know what it's doing and a little triangle in, in the top left corner so unfortunately um, I still don't have Wi-Fi working on my Flash Forge Dreamer for whatever reason it's uh, not copying uh, the files correctly so still need some work with that one hopefully Flash Forge will have a firmware upgrade to get this all fixed up or if Flash Forge read this can you please comment and let me know how, how I can get this fixed thanks bye